Hello guys, so how are you today? Welcome to at another video on programming computational fluid dynamics. So today we'll be implementing uh, the limiter uh, for Lex van der method so that the higher order flux or the higher order reconstruction will be done only in smooth regions such that we will get a better solution then the first order method and also we will get rid of this oscillations which come up in case of uh, second order or higher order methods so to achieve that we will be combining this two and using the limiter so to apply limiters we need to use some expressions which we have seen last time so we will be using this uh, for reconstruction then we will be using this equation for calculation of value r and then we will be using that r to calculate phi which is given by this equation so since we'll be using the van albeda limiter we'll be using this expression so let's begin so uh, we have to first of all calculate r based on the surrounding values so let us do that first so yeah let us first uh, define one more reconstruction type so let me call it limited limited lex vendroff okay so then let me copy this and let me paste it all over again and let me change this case to limited Lex Pendroff method. Okay, so this is done. Now we have to define R, which is simply given by. I can take some shortcut and copy this. No, so it is given by. Uh, I forgot. It is given by I minus I minus one. So it's given by i minus i minus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator we have what was that in the denominator we have i plus 1 minus i in the denominator we have i plus 1 minus ui i suppose that is right and now uh, oh here i have to also make sure that this denominator never becomes equal to zero and to take care of that i'll just add a small quantity uh, let us say 1 into 10 raised to minus 6 or so and the same thing i'll do in the numerator as well well uh, adding in the numerator is not required but it's okay to add it since it's a very small quantity uh, all right and also there was one more thing uh so there is we have to take the max of zero and this value whatever we get so let me say r is equal to max of zero and r okay so this is done now we have our value of r and now we can calculate the value of phi to do that we will be using this when albeda limiter so let me uh, try to memorize it r square plus r divided by r square plus 1 so the value of our limiter is going to be r square plus r divided by was it r square or r r square plus 1 r square plus 1 so so that's the function for phi uh, so now we can use this value of phi and calculate the uh, values at the interface so simply by multiplying phi here and multiplying phi here and i suppose we are done with our limited lex vendroff method and i hope i have not done any mistake and if we have not done any mistake we should magically get 
a better solution compared to Lex Vendroff and the first order method. So let us try to run this code and see what happens. So before running the code, let me change this to a limited Lex Vendroff and okay, so where is the code? Let me remove all the previous solutions and now let me run this code. So we are using the same number of cells as we have seen in the presentation that is 100 and we get this solution. Now let me run the Python code for plotting. So let me see the results compared with the exact solution and here it is. So looks like it's better than both the methods. Uh, so let me compare it. So this was our previous solution and let me compare it with the current one. Okay. Yeah. So here we can clearly see that our solution has certainly much improved and we have got rid of all these oscillations which were there. So well, this is the power of using higher order methods with limiters. And uh, we can again do the order of accuracy analysis and see that the order would have uh, maintained to 2 I suppose for um, uh, smooth, uh, smooth initial distributions. However, at the same time we have got a better solution for uh, for this suddenly changing initial initials uh, the, um, initial distributions. So with this I will stop this video and in the next video we will be looking at uh, even more higher order reconstructions like WENO. Uh, so uh, well I have not planned it exactly but I suppose I will uh, do uh, reconstructions with third order and uh, fifth order, seventh order and so on and so forth. Let us see how high we can go up to what order of accuracy we can go using WNO. WNO stands for weighted essentially non-oscillatory which is a comparatively new method. Uh, so and this method is used in uh, many of the codes for doing uh, say large eddy simulations or direct numerical simulations and so on and so forth. So we'll be looking at WNO in the next video. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions, queries, doubts, any feedback, please leave comments and see you next time.